I'm just going to, are you serious? I'm just going to read this. It's too early in the morning. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm not going to, I'm not going to overreact. I'm just, I'm just going to read the story, okay? Because nobody else will report on it. Because everybody is just going to let sin, let immorality, let literal, uh, a sickening sexual perversion sweep the land and say nothing. So I'll just read the article. And we already know what the Bible says about... Let me just read it. Argentina grants a female ID to a six-year-old boy. Caesar Giuletti, president of the Argentine homosexual community, kisses the mother of a six-year-old child. I'll just show you that picture. He's the leader of the homosexual community in Argentina. Um, he kisses the mother of the six-year-old child who received an amended birth certificate and a new ID with the change in gender during a news conference uh, in Argentina. It happened on uh, October the 9th, yesterday, 2013. The child, who was born Manuel, uh, but likes to be called Lulu, has been dressing like a girl since age four. Who, can I ask quite that? Now, I've raised three sons, okay? If I remember right, when they were four years old, they put on what mama put out for them. Whatever my wife put out, said, here's, here's what the boys are wearing today. They put it on. They didn't say, oh, I don't like this. Give me a dress. There's not a child, there's not a, so this has been, this is the spiritual sexual perversion that's sweeping the earth. This is the days of Lot. This is what Jesus meant when he said, as it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. It was total sexual perversion. Uh, but let me, let me read on, okay, so just to be, um, be a reporter, okay, um, the child whose name was, who was born Manuel, likes to be called Lulu, has been dressing like a girl since age four. The mother says her child's name, new name, oh, give her a new name, give him a new name, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, the child's new name is Lu, Luana. After receiving the documents, she thanked those who, in her words, trusted the identity of my daughter. And respected her rights. Now this is still a boy. It's a four. It's a six-year-old little boy. He hasn't had a sex change, but he's already been given official documentation from the nation of Argentina that he is a girl. And I'm sure then uh, I would almost guarantee that his mother and the homosexual community will um, will help pay for a sex change on this child before he's even becomes puberty, before he even knows exactly what, you know, what's going on here. He knows he's a boy, but I mean, he, he is a boy, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is the twisted, uh, it's perverted sexual behavior that the Bible said would happen in the last days. This would be part, another sign. That's the reason I'm bringing it up. I'm not hating on anybody. I love everybody. I love every person. doesn't matter what sin you're involved in. I love you. And Jesus can save you and set you free from any sin. He saved us all. He has to save us all. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But there is a sin that says that you can commit unto your own body. Now, in this case, this child is innocent. This child is innocent. This child is not. This child is totally innocent. It's the mother and the state of Argentina, the government of Argentina. I remember when gay marriage first became legal in uh, Argentina. I covered it. 
was one of the first one to cover it um, back in I think late 2010, and um, and I went into an outrage like this is going to destroy the new world. It's gonna it's gonna sweep, and I was right. Since then, I think there's 14 nations now that uh, acknowledge gay marriage. Russia's not one. I'll tell you that right now. But there's about 14 nations, and in America. There's 12 states plus the District of Columbia. There might be 13 now. Um, so this just this this will continue. Pray for this child. Absolutely pray for this child. Just pray for this child. Pray for all our children. What's going on? What's going on? Are you serious? He's coming back soon. Jesus is coming soon. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Let me tell you something right now before I go to my next video. This is just as big a sign of the end times as the comet Ison showing up on the anniversary of Israel becoming a state and showing up brighter than the star of Bethlehem. This is just as big a sign as the four blood moons over Jerusalem. In the years 2014 and 15. This is just as big a sign. As the wars and the rumors of wars. And the earthquakes in divers places. I'm telling you. You need to listen to what I'm telling you. We're running out of time folks. Every biblical sign. In Matthew 24. And Luke 21. And Mark 13. Pointing to the coming of Christ. Are you saved? If you're not saved. If you want to be saved. Let me just say this. If you're in the homosexual community, lesbian, gay, transgender, uh, bisexual, if you're in this community and you don't want to be, you want to be free of this, you want to be saved, and you want to be delivered from this, born again and delivered from it, not born again and stay in it, because that's not going to work. you got to be born again and come out of it. If you want that and you need that, call upon Jesus Christ, please. He'll help you. He'll save you. He'll deliver you. He'll give you the confidence and he'll give you the faith and give you the love to walk in victory. And not just you, but for all people who have anything in their lives that they need help with. That's what Jesus did. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I mean, I could just uh, go, what? But it wouldn't really do any good on this one. This is such a critical situation that I, I'm just, I'm begging you, please come to Jesus. And I'm begging this, the, the nation of Argentina, the government there, what are you doing? What are you doing to the children? And the mother, what are you doing? 